Wow! There are so many dinosaurs here. There are beautiful fish, shrimps, turtles, whales, and elephants too. What a great meal that's going to be. Tyrannosaurus is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period. This genus includes only one species, Tyrannosaurus rex. They lived in what is now western part of North America. There's a lot of fish here! Mm. My friend, Parasaurolophus! Wake up! There are a lot of fish in the lake! Come on, let's go eat some! Parasaurolophus, meaning near-crested lizard, is a type of herbivore that lived in what is now North America and possibly Asia during the late Cretaceous period, about 73 to 76 million years ago. Ha ha ha! Let's go fishing! I want to eat some fish today! Whoa! A fish has bitten my hook! I'm yes! going to catch it! Watch me! Nice! Look at me! I can also fish! I can also fish! I've got some fish too! <laughs> I'm so hungry! I have to go find food! Tyrannosaurus Tyrannosaurus rex was a bipedal carnivore with a large skull and balanced by a long heavy tail. Compared to its large and strong hind legs, Tyrannosaurus's forelegs were short but exceptionally strong for its size and had two claws. Wow, those two dinosaurs are fishing. These fish sure look delicious. I'll just take them for me. <laughs> oh no! Carnotaurus was a bipedal, light bodied <laughs> carnivore, 8 to 9 meters long, and weighing at least 1.35 tons. Compared to other theropods, Carnotaurus is highly specialized and distinct, known from the two horns on its head. Uh -oh. I wonder what T-Rex will say when she realizes all her fish have been stolen. Oh my! Oh my fish are all gone! Someone took my fish! <laughs> Okay, there is only one fish left. I have to bring it back to feed my baby dinosaurs. Triceratops is a three-horned dinosaur. A genus of herbivorous dinosaur in the family Ceratopsidae, which lived during the late Cretaceous period in present-day North America.
Pegosaurus is a type of herbivore with four legs and a tough armor from the late Jurassic, Stegosaurus. known by the distinctive kite-shaped upright plates along their backs and spikes on their tails. Fossils of this dino have been found in the western United States and in Portugal about 145 million years ago. It's the Crichtonsaurus. Crichtonsaurus is a questionable kind of armored dinosaur, like the Ankylosaurus, which lived in the late Cretaceous of China. They are named after Michael Crichton, the author of the famous dinosaur novel Jurassic Park. The first fossil of this dino was discovered in 1999 from the Sun Jiawen formation of Liaoning Province, China. Little Tyrannosaurus had himself a nice fishy treat. He must be full now because it seems he is going to sleep with the other dinos. Oh no! The food is all gone! <laughs> I'm so hungry! There are four dinosaurs that have eaten and four dinosaurs that have not yet eaten and are still hungry. Mummy T-Rex doesn't like that very much. It seems like Mummy T-Rex is going back to Jurassic Park to get her fish back from the dinosaurs that live there. Give me back my fish, guys! My children are very, very hungry. Please, okay. we need our fish back. Why, yes, of course, Mummy T-Rex. Say no more. I'll grab your food for your children. Thank you. You just wait here Thank patiently. You. Baby Raptor got to eat a little and can now go to sleep with a full belly. Baby Carnotaurus got a turn too and goes to sleep with Raptor. Baby Spinosaurus also got some of the shark to himself. He will also sleep with his brothers now. Baby Iguanodon got some food too and goes to sleep with Stegosaurus and his friends. Wow, look how grown up all these dinosaurs are. This is what happens when we eat well and get enough sleep. We grow, just like these dinosaurs. Once they were babies, they were weak and couldn't do much on their own. Now they are strong and mighty. Thank you for joining our video today everyone, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please like and subscribe to our channel, goodbye. Wow, this is the Star Dinosaur Garden, there are so many dinosaurs here, 
we see the Stegosaurus, T-Rex, Ankylosaurus, and the Triceratops. Most of the dinos we see here are herbivores, but some are carnivores. The dinosaurs are eating grass. The grey Camarasaurus eats grass. The spotted white Stegosaurus eats grass. The Diplodocus eats grass. The Ankylosaurus eats grass. The Parasaurolophus eats leaves off a tree. The Triceratops eats a shrub. The Spinosaurus is eating leaves? What? No way! It's a carnivore! Come on everyone! I'm sure you're okay. all full now. It's time to get some beauty dino sleep in the barn. Let's all go back into the barn to get some well-deserved rest for the day. I'm hungry! Where's my dinner? Oh my goodness! The Tyrannosaurus is coming! It's ferocious! Oh no! It's destroying the houses of those dinosaurs! Tyrannosaurus, also known as T-Rex in popular culture, is a kind of theropod dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period. This genus includes only one species, Tyrannosaurus rex. They lived in what is now Western North America, then an island continent called Laramidia. Oh no! Our homes have been destroyed! I know who did something awful like this. It was you, T-Rex, you big ugly meanie! Our homes! Oh wow, T-Rex, you really are a bad guy, huh? <laughs> yes, I am a bad guy. I'm a hungry bad guy, and you all look like dinner to me. Mmm, how much I crave for a Stegosaurus steak. Come here, you. What's going on here? Rexable, how many times should I tell you to leave the little ones alone? Oh, my babies, you hateful dinosaur, I'll fight you! I told you to stay away! Stegosaurus Stegosaurus is a kind of theropod dinosaur from the late Jurassic in present-day Western North America. Because of its pointed tail and armor, Stegosaurus is one of the most recognizable dinosaurs, along with Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, and Diplodocus. It lived between 155 and 145 million years ago. Triceratops, also known through the Jurassic Park series, is a world-famous dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period Triceratops. 66 to 68 million years ago. Their special and iconic feature is from the part of the horn consisting of two attached to the skull above the eye socket. Of this giant is about one meter long. One grows above the nose, making them look like the ancestors of today's rhinoceros. Camarasaurus, Camarasaurus. was a type of four-legged herbivore and is the most common of North American fossils of its kind. Its fossil remains have been found in the Morrison formation dating to the late Jurassic period. Between 155 
and 145 million. It's the Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. Its name means striped fire, and it was a carnivore that lived in what is now North Africa. The T Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex is one Tyrannosaurus. of the best, most well known of this family of dinosaurs. It lived throughout what is now Western North America. Fossils have been found in many from almost 68 to 66 million years ago. Parasaurolophus, meaning near lizard, is a type of herbivore that lived in what is now North America and possibly Asia during the late Cretaceous period about 76 to 73 million years ago. Crichtonsaurus is a questionable kind of armored dinosaur Crichtonsaurus. like the Anthrosaurus, which lived in the late Cretaceous in China. They are named after Michael Crichton, the author of the famous dinosaur. Jurassic Park! Oh wow! There are so many toys here! There are a lot of dinosaurs and dinosaur bones too! There's Godzilla and some rainbow friends! It's interesting to see all these weird and wonderful toys together! Oh my! These two Tyrannosauruses are fighting! Oh. They have super sharp teeth and their bite force is among the strongest of all carnivores to have ever lived on earth. This was a very common scene during the age of the dinosaurs. Aw cute! Look, the little dinosaurs are all together and they seem so happy and friendly. Oh no! The Tyrannosaurus just woke up! And he is probably very hungry. I wonder what is on his diet for today. Now I am starving. I could do with my daily snack. Tyrannosaurus, stop that immediately! I am Godzilla, the strongest of all monsters and protector of all little dinosaurs. Today, I will defeat you! Hey! Oh no! We have to run back inside the cave, everyone! Come on, come on, let's go! Get away, Tyrannosaurus! Get away! Oh no! Tyrannosaurus ran so fast and it closed the cave before Godzilla could even enter. Those poor dinosaurs. Do you have any way to help me catch the Tyrannosaurus? Oz, let me think. Oz has a way. We'll plant a bomb and maybe the gluttonous dinosaur will eat it. Obnoxious dinosaur should be punished. The Tyrannosaurus went out and ate the poison egg. Zia the dinosaur has been poisoned. <laughs> Get that, you stupid T Rex. There are 
are so many injured dinosaurs. <laughs> we need help from Spider-Man. Spider-Man, please help me save these injured okay. dinosaurs. Here we go. You got it, my friend. I'm coming right away. Let's go. As you can see, these dinosaurs have already been cut up by the Tyrannosaurus. We need to mend them. First, let's attach the tail. Okay, this isn't working right now. Let's do the legs then. There you go! Great, now let's attach the tail to the legs. Awesome! Let's attach the midsection. Perfect! And finally, we can attach the head of the little dinosaur. Great! Velociraptor is a genus of theropod dinosaur that existed in the late Cretaceous period, about 70 to 83 million years ago. Velociraptor shares many anatomical features with Dionychus and Achillobator, despite their smaller size. It is a feathered bipedal carnivore with a long strong tail and broad claws on each limb. Alright, let's fix this dinosaur. First let's attach the tail. Cool. Now let's attach the midsection. Great. Let's attach the neck to the chest and front legs. Perfect. Okay, now let's attach the front to the back of the dinosaur. Awesome. Camarasaurus is a genus of tetrapod herbivores in the suborder Sauropod. It is one of the most common North American sauropod dinosaurs. Its fossils are found in the Morrison Formation of Colorado and Utah dating from the late Jurassic, that is between 145 to 155 million years ago. A Camarasaurus pelvis at the Dinosaur Museum in Utah shows features resembling those caused by Allosaurus. Alright, let's put this spiny dinosaur back together. First the midsection. Cool, now let's attach the neck. Great, alright, let's attach the hind legs. Perfect, now we can attach the tail. There you go. Amargosaurus. The spiny crested dinosaur has the scientific name of Amargosaurus, which in ancient Greek means La Amarga lizard, according to the La Amarga formation where they were discovered. The spiny crested dinosaur is a herbivorous dinosaur belonging to the clade long neck dinosaur that existed from the Aptian to late Aptian period of the early Cretaceous. 
Alright, let's heal this dinosaur. First, let's attach the midsection to the hind legs. Cool! Now let's attach the tail. Great! And finally, let's attach the head. There you go! Stygimalock! Stagimolok is a genus of dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period about 66 million years ago. They are about 3 meter long and 2 meter high. Alright, let's see. Let's make sure all of these dinosaurs have been mended. Okay, you look alright. You look alright. Okay, you look alright. Okay, nice. It seems like we've done a good job here. Okay, I like it. I like it. Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus is a type of herbivore with four legs and a tough armor from the late Jurassic, known by the distinctive kite-shaped upright plates along their backs and spikes on their tails. Fossils of this dino have been found in the western United States and in Portugal about 145 million years ago. Okay, just a couple more dinosaurs to check out. Let's see here. Uh-huh, I like it. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm, they seem fine. This guy seems fine. Okay, great. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I think we did a great job here. Awesome, everyone, everyone seems okay. That's great. Hello, Hello everyone. Look, wow. There are so many dinosaurs, gorillas, and even Godzillas here. There is a trapped dinosaur? Why is that? It seems like Godzilla and his friends are building something. I wonder what it could be. They are building it with some bricks. Let's see. Oh my goodness! The dinosaurs are inviting each other to play hide and seek. How cool! The green dinosaurs have to close their eyes and the other dinosaurs have to hide. Where did the Godzillas leave the building they were building? Surely the building can't hide. That would be very, very weird. Oh look! Here is a yellow dinosaur coming. I wonder what he's going to do here. Help me! I will hide Help here me. for sure. This looks Help like me. a good spot. Oh my god! Where are you sneaky dinosaurs hiding? Come out! Oh no! Oh my goodness, guys! Oh no! There is a dinosaur stuck help here! Me. Okay. I have to get help! Hey! Excavator! Please will you come help me? There's a stuck dinosaur! Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Excavator to the rescue! Do, do, do. Hey, what happened? The excavator is now shoveling the stones out of the way so that the dinosaur can break free. Yeah. <laughs> 
the crane will help the dinosaur to get out as well. Let's see it happen. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you very much nice. for helping me, guys. Thanks, Bulldozer. Godzilla's friend has just returned to find his work has been broken. He mustn't be very nope. happy about that. Sorry, Godzilla. Oh, cute! Look, Tyrannosaurus is giving Velociraptor a little kiss. Mwah! Spinosaurus is a carnivore that lived in what is now North Africa about 93 and a half to 99 million years ago. Fossils of the dino were first found in Egypt in 1912 and named by German scientist Urs Stromer in 1915. The original bones of the dino were destroyed during World War I. Later a second group of scientists found new bones of this type of dino in the early 21st century. Dimetrodon literally means two-toothed. It's a carnivore and it lived in the first Permian about 265 to 295 million years ago. Dimetrodon's scariest body part is a large sail on its back, created by long spines. Velociraptor is a genus of theropod dinosaur that existed in the late Cretaceous period, about 70 to 83 million years ago. Velociraptor shares many anatomical features with Dionychus and Achillobator, despite their smaller size. Therizinosaurus is a type of large dinosaur that lived in Asia during the late Cretaceous period around 70 million years ago. The first remains of Therizinosaurus were found in 1948 by a Mongolian field expedition at the Gobi Desert and later described by Evgeny Maliv in 1954. Triceratops, also known through the Jurassic Park series, is a world famous dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period 66 to 68 million years ago. Their special and iconic feature is from the part of the horn consisting of two attached to the skull above the eye socket. Stegosaurus is a type of herbivore with four legs and a tough armor from the late Jurassic, known by the distinctive kite-shaped upright plates along their backs and spikes on their tails. Goodbye everyone! Thank you for joining our video today. Please like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time! Oh no! A shape-shifting great swimming dinosaur! Plesiosaurus Plesiosaurus is a type of swimming reptile that died many many years ago. The first skeleton of a plesiosaurus was found by Mary Anning between 1820 and 1821. But it didn't have a head or skull. She found it on the Jurassic coast of England. In 1823, she found another fossil, this time with a full skeleton with a skull.
Run away fast! There's a dinosaur cage here! There are many dinosaurs here too! Whoa, check that out! This dinosaur can transform! Oh what a cool red dinosaur this is! Indominus Rex It's the Indominus Rex! This mixed dino was created by mixing the genes of a Tyrannosaurus Rex with the DNA of many other animals like it. Some of the known species that were mixed together were Velociraptor, Carnotaurus and Gigantosaurus. There was also DNA of modern animals such as Cattlefish, Tree Frog and a Pit Viper. Wow! This blue dinosaur has a really strange looking head. It looks so hard. Pachycephalosaurus. It's the Pachycephalosaurus. The name literally means thick headed lizard. Oh, so it does have a funny head. <laughs> there is only one member of its family. It lived during the late Cretaceous period of North America. Bones have been found in Montana, South Dakota, Wyoming, and Alberta. It was a herbivore, so it only ate plants and it was well known for its extremely thick head at 22 centimeters thick. More complete fossils have been found in recent years. Pachycephalosaurus was one of the last dinosaurs that didn't fly before the animals of the time all died. This green dinosaur also has a funny looking head. I wonder what its name is. Styracosaurus. It's the Styracosaurus. It means thorny lizard. It is one of the few horned lizards that lived in the late Cretaceous period about 75 to 76 and a half million years ago in what is now North America. It has four to six horns coming from the neckline on its head, one small horn on each cheek and one 60 centimeter long and 15 centimeter wide horn popping out from its nose. No one really knows why they have these horns. Another dinosaur with a funny looking head? What? What is it with these dinosaurs? They all have strange looking heads with horns or bumps. It's weird. Camarasaurus was a type of four-legged herbivore dinosaur and is the most common North American fossil of its kind. Its fossil remains have been found in the Morrison Foundation dating to the late Jurassic period between 145 and 155 million years ago. It had a very strange head and face with a blunt nose and an arched skull that was quite square. Whoa! This dino looks like it's got some... Strange armor or something? I don't know. I wonder what it's called. It's the Crichtonsaurus. Crichtonsaurus is a questionable kind of armored dinosaur, like the Ankylosaurus, which lived in the late Cretaceous of China. They are named after Michael Crichton, the author of the famous dinosaur novel Jurassic Park. The first fossil of this dino was discovered in 1999 from the Sun Jiawen formation of Liaoning Province, China. Oh, this dino looks cool! Check out the stripes on its nose and tail! Mudoborosaurus! And what beautiful colors and shape! Nice! It's the Mutaborosaurus! Mutaborosaurus was a type of herbivore which lived in what is now Northeastern Australia sometime between 103 and 112 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period. It is thought to be part of the same family as the Iguanodon. After Quimbarosaurus, it is Australia's most completely known dinosaur from bones alone. It was named after Mutabura, the place in Queensland, Australia, where it was found. Wow, this dinosaur looks really scary. What is that huge sail on its back? Spinosaurus. I'm so ready to find out. Let's go. It's the Spinosaurus. 
Spinosaurus is a carnivore that lived in what is now North Africa about 93 and a half to 99 million years ago. Fossils of the dino were first found in Egypt in 1912 and named by German scientist Urs Stromer in 1915. The original bones of the dino were destroyed during World War I. Later, a second group of scientists found new bones of this type of dino in the early 21st century. We all know this scary dino. Come on, guys, think about it. Tyrannosaurus. Big head, tiny little arms. What dino is it? It's the T Rex. Tyrannosaurus rex, XTT, is one of the best, most well known of this family of dinosaurs. It lived through what is now Western North America. Fossils have been found in many different rock rocking areas. From almost 66 to 68 million years ago, it was the last known member of the Tyrannosaurus and one of the last flightless dinosaurs to live before the extinction event. Another dinosaur with a strange head! Look at this guy! Parasaurolophus! So cool though! Parasaurolophus meaning near-crested lizard, is a type of herbivore that lived in what is now North America and possibly Asia during the late Cretaceous period about 73 to 76 million years ago. It was a herbivore that could walk on either two legs or all four of its legs. Bones are known from Alberta, New Mexico and Utah and possibly Heilongjiang in China. This must be my favorite dinosaur up to this point. An armor on its back. What is this? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is a type of herbivore with four legs and a tough armor from the late Jurassic known by the distinctive kite-shaped upright plates along their backs and spikes on their tails. Fossils of this dino have been found in the western United States and in Portugal about 145 million years ago. For some reason, this looks like the oldest dinosaur we've seen so far. It doesn't really look like any of the others. I wonder what it's called. Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon literally means two tooth. It's a carnivore and it lived in the first Permian about 265 to 295 million years ago. These dinosaurs are attacking me! <laughs> Help! 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 <sighs> no! 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 Leave me alone! Help me! Help me! Help! Help! Looks like someone's crying for help. Must hurry. Let's go. Watch Iron Man transform. Let Iron Man rescue you. Hey, ha, hoo ha, ha. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Iron Man. I appreciate your help so much. You are the best. Okay. 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 Okay.
Here we go! Okay. Oh. -oh. <laughs> Nope. Stegosaurus. Triceratops. Camerasaurus. Dinosaurus. Parasaurilla fish.
Spinosaurus. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Stegosaurus. <laughs> Indominus Rex.
Crichtonsaurus. Velociraptor Spinosaurus Camerasaurus Venusaurus. Dyracosaurus. Thank you. 
Crichtonsaurus. Stegosaurus. Venusaurus. Velociraptor. Parasaurola face. Camerasaurus. There is a Nocerus.
Styracosaurus. There is a Nocerus. Dyracosaurus. Parasaurola face. Venusaurus. Camerasaurus.
Velociraptor Triceratops Stegosaurus Taurus. Camerasaurus. Indominus Rex
Parasaurus Office. Nice. Spinosaurus. Styracosaurus. Tyrannosaurus.
Stegosaurus. Velociraptor Crichtonsaurus.
Okay. Yes! Tyrannosaurus. Indominus Rex. So come a miss. There is a Nocerus. Parasaurilla fish.
Dilophosaurus. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. Triceratops.
Dirichosaurus. Camerasaurus. Velociraptor Oh! <laughs> 
Spinosaurus. Stegosaurus. Velociraptor. Camerasaurus. Crichtonsaurus. Mudoborosaurus.
are all these dinosaurs doing here? Look, there are some T-Rexes, an Indominus Rex, and even Godzilla. Why are the dino parts here? And now the two Godzillas are fighting. Look how huge they are and so scary. They might have tiny heads, but look how huge their bodies are and such big strong legs. They are born from radiation, which is where they get their powers from. Wow, Indominus Rex, what a scary dinosaur. It wasn't a real dinosaur though, and is only a creation from the imagination of the Jurassic Park designer. Here we have the T-Rex, one of the largest bipedal carnivores to ever have lived on Earth. It's got a big head and a long heavy tail to keep its balance. Look over there. Do you see the two animals eating grass? They are known as herbivores because they eat only plants like grass and shrubs. Oh no! Here come the carnivores! We call them carnivores because they only eat meat. That's dangerous for the herbivores over there. I wonder what's going to happen. I hope they don't eat the plant-eating animals. That would be terrible to see. Whoa! Did you see that? The Godzilla's supernatural powers, probably from the radiation poisoning, oh, no. has helped it to change the herbivore dinosaurs into mecha dinosaurs. Mecha dinosaur is a dinosaur made from machine parts, which you can see here. It looks like some kind of metal. Nice colors though. I like the yellow and blue. At least the mecha dino is still alive and not harmed in any way. Oh no. Look. It looks like the carnivores are a team. Indominus Rex, T-Rex, and the Godzilla. Oh no. I wonder what they will... No! T-Rex? T-Rex just destroyed the mecha dinosaurs. I wonder why he would do that. The mecha dinosaurs were oh, so no. cool. That's not good, T-Rex. Spider-Man <laughs> to the rescue. I will help you, mecha dinos. I will put you back together and heal you. The Taurosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur, or herbivore, with a horn that lived long and healthy lives in North America and Asia during the Cretaceous period. Around 50% of all Triceratops have two thin areas in the bony frill of the nape of the neck. This is very similar to the position or location of the hole or hollow part in the Taurosaurus skull. This could mean that they evolved to have these hollow parts in their skeletons to make up for the weight difference caused by the lack of the body parts that the Triceratops have. I find that very interesting and I think they are really awesome dinosaurs.
Styracosaurus is a type of horned dinosaur of the family Ceratopsidae that lived in the late Cretaceous period, about 76 or 75 million years ago in present day North America. It has four to six horns coming from the margin of the neck on the head, one small horn on each cheek and one horn about 60 centimeters long and 15 centimeters wide coming from its nose. The function of these horns are still not known and many scientists still argue what these horns could be used for. Styracosaurus is a fairly large dinosaur, Triceratops. 5 meters long and weighing about 3 tons. It is 1.8 meters tall when standing. Styracosaurus was quite bulky, with short legs and tail. Maybe it was like other ceratopsians, living in groups or herds. Styracosaurus Camarasaurus, which is also known as a cavity dinosaur due to its hollow parts inside its vertebrae, was a type of tetrapod. This tetrapod came from the suborder sauropod. It is one of the most common North American sauropod dinosaurs. Its fossils were found in the Morrison Formation of Colorado and Utah in North America. These fossils date back to as far as the late Jurassic period, that is between 155 and 145 million years ago. That is a very long time ago. We are so lucky that we can still see evidence of these creatures' existence. Crichtonsaurus, meaning Crichton's lizard, is a type of herbivorous ankylosaur dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous in what is now China. It was named after Michael Crichton, the author of the famous dinosaur novel. The first fossils of this kind were discovered in 1999 in the Sunjiawen formation of Xiaofuxiang. Dimetrodon is a carnivore of the clade mammal-like reptiles. 
It lived in the early Permian Dimetrodon. 295 to 265 million years ago. Dimetrodon's most striking feature is a large sail on its back created by elongated spines. It walks on four legs and has a long curved skull with teeth of various sizes on the same jaw. Because of its spiky tail and armor body, Stegosaurus is one of the most Stegosaurus. dinosaurs who have lived, along with the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Diplodocus, and Triceratops. They lived during the late Jurassic period. Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex is the main bad guy of the Jurassic Park series. She is one of the largest anthropods present in the Jurassic World movies, as well as the main bad guy of the film, the villain of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and the main villain of the series covered of the Netflix series Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Triceratops. Dilophosaurus. Venusaurus.
Crichtonsaurus. Trinodin.
Wow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Ding. See? Indominus Rex. Jigano Taurus.
Mythosaurus. No Taurus. Velociraptors.
Triceratops. Dilophosaurus. No. 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 Albertosaurus.
no. 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 <laughs> Pentasy Tom. No. No. Dilophosaurus.
Triceratops.
Indoraptor versus Spinosaur. Stegosaurus.
Triceratops versus Velociraptor. Taurus versus Stegosaurus. Indominus Rex and Velociraptor Ceratosaurus. No Taurus.
Velociraptor. Triceratops. Dilophosaurus. 